Hi, this is Jason with MDI, and today we have a quick update of the Crane version 2 versus the Mozoa production batch number 2. The Crane version 2 underwent a couple changes. The handle is much shorter. The cage is also slightly shorter than before. It has a quick release plate that allows you to quickly slide the camera in place and allows you to for finer adjustments. But as before, the motors are about the same in terms of its power, so it's more geared towards smaller cameras like the Sony a7S up to the GH5. The app has also undergone an update as well. Now there is a time-lapse feature, but the features are a little bit limited compared to the Mozwa. The Mozwa Air Production Batch Number 2 has also undergone quite a few changes as well. For one, the motors are a lot stronger to allow for better articulation when balancing. And because of that, we no longer have any noise coming from the yaw motor in the back. The Mozwa Air Production Batch Number 2 also has increased its battery life. Now you can get over 8 hours with the batteries included. Same as before, for $5.99, you're going to get the whole set that includes the dual handles. Now, the Mozwa team is actually currently working on an advanced motion time-lapse feature that should be available sometime after July. Now, we're not major time-lapse shooters, but we were told that this new feature in the app will allow you to create more dynamic time-lapses. Now you're hearing this from us first. The Moza team is actually working on a very exciting new feature that allows you to capture more organic gimbal shots. So traditionally, if you needed to move the camera with a second operator, they would use something like this, a remote control with a joystick on it, or maybe an RC remote. The problem is, is that the movement is very linear, so you can't slowly ramp up a movement, and therefore it gives your footage a slightly robotic look. Now, what they're going to do is they're going to allow the second user to use a dual handle, if you pan it, tilt it, roll it, the gimbal will follow. The great thing about this feature is, is depending on how slow or how fast you do it, the gimbal is also going to mimic that as well. So therefore, you lose the linear movement of the gimbal, and now you can have a much more organic gimbal movement that's close to how they used to do in the steady cams. For people that are on an Android smartphone, the Mozwa app is currently in the beta testing phase right now. They are currently working on it and hope to release it later this year. And lastly, the final difference between the two gimbals here is the Crane version 2 has the slider adjustment plate, which the Mozwa Air does not have. What we did was we bought a little attachment here. Because all of our quick release plates are the same, we basically bought you know, another one. And this specific version allows you to either slide the plate in or you can actually put the camera on like this and then slap it into place and lock it. This is very beneficial because there's limited room for you to slide the camera on and off the gimbal. So being able to come from the top and place it on the quick release plate is a plus. In conclusion, the updated features are all very welcome. But you're probably still wondering, so which one should you get? Honestly, it really depends on a whole lot of things, uh, starting with your camera setup. Do you think that this is the camera you're going to go with forever, or do you see yourself moving up to a heavier camera? If you do, you'll probably want to go with the Mozart Air just because it has the stronger motors that allows you to have that upgrade room. Not to mention for the price of $599, which is cheaper than the Crane, you do get a lot more features for your money. Now, on the other hand, I will honestly tell you that in the very beginning, I actually preferred the Crane over the Mozwa Air because the movement quality just seemed a little bit better to me. But now seeing the new updated version, I want to say that they're basically about the same in terms of the movement quality. So that being said, I actually will probably prefer the Mozwa Air because it gives me that extra feature set that the Crane doesn't have. Now that being said, if you're someone that's not really uh, 
you don't like to fine tune a lot of things and you just want to have something that works, then I would say you'll want to go with a crane because it literally is set up the balance, turn it on, and there you go. With the Mozwa Air, there is a little bit more fine tuning involved on, depending on your setup. Speaking of fine tuning and balancing, these are gimbals first and foremost, which means the balancing of your camera is very, very important. Now, if you've never really balanced a gimbal before, I would suggest you check out the Mozwa Air's Facebook page. In there, there's a video made by Alex Timelapse, and he goes into detail on how to achieve the best balance possible for your gimbal, which allows you to have the best operation.